All right, let's go into the mine. So the mine is about uh, three kilometers deep, huh? 3,000 meters, huh? Yeah. How many people is in there now? I think... Uh, 20, 25? Yeah. <laughs> How's my hair? Okay, so yesterday evening, uh, after sundown, we got a visitor from Avdrahim. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he invited us uh, to come and see uh, the, the, mine. the the mine that is here. So what what are you mining here? Uh, mine of plum. Plum is is that a mineral? Yes, stone. It's mineral, yeah. yeah. And quiver. We'll have a look at it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the big mine here. Yeah. It's three kilometers to go down the mountain. Okay. So we are here at the mine and there's uh, a big mine here. It goes three kilometers into the mountain here. So we'll have a quick look at it. Okay, we'll go into the mine and have a look. So we'll probably not go all the way because there's... Uh, hey, there's a miner with a flashlight on. All right, let's go into the mine so the mine is about uh, three kilometers deep huh? three thousand meters huh? yeah how many people is in there now i think uh, 20 25 yeah <laughs> it's easy to see there's a lot of minerals here a lot of quartz It's very obvious that the mine has been not profitable at a certain stage and they basically closed it and whoever wants to continue by hand, they can do. So yeah, I think that's quite obvious. So we're going back? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So there was a mine on this side as well, eh? So this uh, little mining city here, I don't know how many people is there yet. How many people live here? So about 20 families live in nearby the mine here. And uh, how many people work in the mine? I think 100. Oh, sorry. So totally about 100 people work here in the mine. So this is some of the things that they... Some minerals. Some minerals that they find here. I think this is fool's gold. Yeah. No, it's uh, just quiver. Yeah. Cooper. Copper. Yeah. All right. With uh, plum. This is plum. So this is the main ingredients yeah. here. Okay, so we left the gorge down here at the mine and then we drove all the way up on the side of the, uh, of the gorge here where there's a mining village. So when the, back then when they had uh, mining ongoing, they built these uh, huts and houses for staff and miners. Obviously today it's not functioning at all. So, <clears throat> so the mining company, the French mining company that was here, stopped working in 1959, oh sorry, 1957. So the only people that basically uh, mine in the mine is people who is uh, staying in the, in the gorge here, in the small village. So unfortunately, I can't drive and film at the same time. I didn't 
put the camera on the helmet so but that uh, every mine I had a small house like this and then of course administrative staff and all these things foreigners had better accommodation and uh, you can see it when I get around the corner here It's a little more fancy housing down there but they had water and all these things commodities there's a big well there in the middle and on the other side there's a mosque it's a beautiful place it's probably been pretty nice staying here yeah all the houses are are the same thought I'd better film a little bit here in the end of the day the sun already went down here and uh, we already had some food in our little stove we only have very little gas left so hopefully we can find some gas or we'll just uh, not cook anymore <laughs> we don't have many days left in morocco more about that later so we have planned one more while camping so we are moving out tomorrow just wanted to you know show a little bit of this place i'll show you um, we had a miner uh, came very early in the morning and uh, the first thing he did when he arrived was to make a small, very small, shallow well here in the riverbed and uh, we've been using this uh, water all day and uh, yeah, so he's uh, he has uh, some of his canisters lying around here that he's using and uh, up that gorge there or canyon there's a medium old mine there that they are using still uh, but they're just individuals going up and, and, and working in that mine uh, picking up stuff and I can see up here on the ridge here there's an old uh, pathway so uh, yeah it's been really acti active this valley or gorge whatever for quite a long time up to 1957 and uh, so now the village is still around because there's still a few things to be picked up from these mines 
but uh, apparently it's not uh, enough to keep a big company going so but uh, yeah they make enough money for themselves to sell their items to people who then sell uh, their things to tourists and all okay so sorry <laughs> forgot so that's the shallow well we have here and it's really clean water when it just settles and then we use a, a small filter that I just constructed now and uh, it's pretty good water I would say very tasty so that water is then filtered through uh, through the underground just shallow through the sand and gravel that you see have been digged up here pretty nice actually and then usually we wash ourselves and our dishes downstream and just we know that there's nothing upstream here uh, because we came that way so the, so the water is good so we have no problem with that I'm still in front of that gorge and there's a big uh, well a bigger body of water here it has uh, small fish and stuff in it so the water is good uh, some small algae are living here frogs frogs is a very good sign that the, wa the water is good they are very fragile that's the first ones to go if there is something wrong with the water so that's basically our camp so there is traffic here which is actually spoiling it uh, quite a lot for us uh, we would have uh, liked a lot less traffic i would say average uh, we have a car coming through every uh, sometimes every 10 minutes and sometimes every half a ma half an hour uh, not heavy trucks but uh, small cars with goods to the small village that is down there you saw on the on the mining issue so this is uh, our little camp uh, we had to uh, wet down the ground this morning just to avoid to get uh, a, uh, some of that dust you know suppress some of the dust that is around here so that helped uh, quite uh, much during the day but here in the evening when it was strong wind uh, the wind <laughs> came from the other side so uh, unfortunately anyway a little bit of our camp here okay guys thank you for watching our video and uh, hope to see you next time and, and uh, if you're not subscribed and uh, hit this uh, you know subscribe and hit the notice notification bell so you get notified when we have a new video Okay guys, bye bye. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. Looking back, eyes on the